Hello, uh, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D Field here, bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play, and today we're back with me. <laughs> guys, Insanity's not here today. If you guys didn't hear from yesterday's episode, he wasn't feeling too well, so I was like, you know what, Matthew, take a day off. I'll record factions by ourselves. And obviously, he went to bed early tonight because they have school tomorrow. So if you guys are actually watching this video right now, some of you guys are probably uh, done with your first Monday back at school. And I want to personally ask you guys, how was school? Was it okay? Is uh, How's the new semester going so far? Obviously, it's the first day of school back. And uh, yeah, I'm not excited at all. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, ew, it's school again. Oh, no, school is back. Back in session about two or three weeks off that everybody had. And, you know, had a little bit of a break from the good old education. But anyways, guys, let's get into factions today. I've got some stuff planned. It is a solo episode today because obviously Insanity was feeling sick. And I wanted him to get a little bit of rest before he actually started back on his little school adventure. So I've got some stuff to show you. And I've got some stuff that I actually have planned for today. Today's episode no raid because I do want to uh, save the one raid that I do have for uh, when insanity does get back but let me go ahead and butcher these real quick here now I've been uh, basically AFKing for the past 48 hours I've been AFKing on and off um, at our blaze farm and Ellie one of our faction ally or faction members girl called Ellie She's been literally afking and then just killing these blazes forever So we've probably got a bunch of blaze rods here strength pots for blaze so cool So there we go, but the one thing that I've noticed is uh, since this blaze farm is literally right above our base So if I like if I have a slash if I go to slash home base or whatever um, If I if I stand like right here I believe that some of the blaze spawners up here are actually spawning so I have a feeling or like I don't know It's just some sometimes when I do log on to the base I'm getting a little bit of FPS issues and I believe it's because of the blaze spawner so what I kind of want to actually do is I want to take the time I, I'm gonna make this I want to convert this room right here into an iron golem spawner now I have saved up some money I've got about five million five million seven seventy thousand money so that's enough for five iron golem spawners and what I want to do is I want to convert this room right here into an iron golem room so I mean, it looks like it's big enough it should be big enough to hold a good amount of spawners uh, let me go to warp shop and grab some ender pearls real quick why do these freaking item frames keep disappearing I literally just fixed this last night and now it's um now it's freaking uh disappeared again i have no idea why the item shops keep breaking i'm pretty sure i regioned it correctly so i don't know why it's doing that i have no idea but anyways let's go up here how many iron golem spawners can we fit in here one two three four five five times one two three four five so i can fit 25 iron golem spawners into this little area here but it's gonna cost us around obviously 25 million so right now we only have five million we're gonna be able to start it off with the first five uh spawners so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna just start off. Um, wow, I forgot to turn my gamma on. I was playing UHC the other day. Um, I'm gonna start off with probably the five spawners. I'm gonna jump into this room right now and actually take down the blaze spawners. I'm gonna put them into a chest so that my faction doesn't get alarmed that we freaking somebody stole it or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Uh, let me god apple. So last time you guys actually told me that if I god apple, this the flame effect on the blaze actually don't affect me anymore. So that's why that's why I wasn't taking damage from the blaze the other day. I was like I was so confused too. I was like what the heck is going on? Oh my gosh, am I really stuck in here? Am I really stuck in here? <laughs> Is this what's happening right now? Okay, whatever. Let's just break this. Um, and then push this through. Okay, all right. We're good. All right, so let's head on up there. We're just going to take this down. So today's nothing. It's n Oh, my gosh. Are you joking me right now? <laughs> Did that really just happen? Okay, wait. Let's just butcher these real quick. I, I need to get this <laughs> I need to get this work done. I keep just ender pearling around. Okay, let's get up here. And, um, yeah, so today's not really going to be a raid episode. It's going to be just like a faction work episode because I do need to get all this stuff done. And I want I want to get a majority of the work done before Insanity gets home from school later today. Because, obviously, um, it, the more work that I get done off camera or the more work I get done while he's sick, the better. Because, obviously, we don't want him feeling bad for uh, missing school or missing a couple of days of faction. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're just going to go ahead and do this. But I haven't made an Iron Golem spawner in such a long time just because of the, the price that they are at so i'm actually thinking that i want to i want to kind of delay or i want to kind of um 
what's the word for it? I, I want to kind of decrease the prices of the iron golem spawners, maybe a little bit, not too much, maybe re reduce them back down to like 750,000, not up to 1 million, but I guess we'll see. I still have to kind of um, mess around with the economy, but what I'm going to do with these blaze spawners, let me grab all of them that we have. So we have a total of 17 blaze spawners. I'm going to just put them, if, if my faction members are watching it, I'll probably tell them in the faction chat later. Um, I'm going to put them, let me do a slash home base. I'm going to put them in the top left where it says other tools. I'm just going to leave the blaze spawners up there for now. Now let's go to warp shop. I'm going to have to actually, what the heck is this? What is wrong with everybody's skin? I'm on, I'm playing on 1.7.4. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What is wrong with everybody's skin? Where's their legs? <laughs> is this a glitch? I think it's a glitch. I don't know why it's doing this. Look, I can't see anybody's skin. They all look messed up. What the heck? Okay, anyways, um, I keep losing track. Let's go ahead and buy some iron golem spawners. I believe, oh my gosh, I believe it's this one. This is the $1 million one. I need to put signs on this because it's so annoying. Like people, it's just the signs just keep on breaking. But here's the iron golem spawners. I'm pretty sure if I put, scroll over it. Yeah, okay, so this is the iron golem spawner. Let's just buy as many of these as possible. I believe I can buy just five. Yeah, there we go. Slash eat. And then let's do slash home base. So we're going to convert this blaze spawner room into an actual iron golem spawner. Now, I don't know exactly how I want to do this video. I don't know if I want to just fully kind of uh, just make the farm and kind of explain. Every what was what was that? What was that? What kind of weak freaking? What, what was that? It, it completely just missed me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I don't know. Like, I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to explain. I'm gonna try to what am I what am I saying here? I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can on camera. Do a little bit of off camera work, and then just kind of go from there. So, how we're we gonna convert this? Obviously, first of all, let's go at warp shop again. We need um, we need ourselves some building blocks. So let's grab some building blocks really really quickly here. Slash back. Uh, get these in here like so. And okay, so then these these are actually gonna be fine where the slabs are We're gonna be able to use literally the layout of this entire farm uh, for this actual um, Build spot spotter build itself So all we have to do to convert this is kind of just build down and make this into a perfect cubed room And then once this room is perfectly a square we can actually just start to um What's it called? We, we can make some lava blades and then we just have to connect a bunch of hoppers to a bunch of chests and then we should be good to go. So let's break this down. Uh, I'm going to take a quick second. What does this say? S -S 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 -S. Um, so what I'm going to do, the plan is I, I need to take all this. I'm going to build it all the way down. I'm going to obviously have to break all this, um, all this, whatchamacallit, calls it, all this stone and stone brick, whatever they have hidden down here. Oh no, this is going to be trouble. Ooh, we might, I might have to just raise this up here because I forgot that the roof, the roof of our base is going to be right here. So I'm probably going to raise this up a little and then move it to the other side. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to figure out something to make with the spawner room because I don't want it. I don't want the blaze spawners to be right above our main base because it's making it lag at our actual base itself. So we'll be right back. Let me do some off camera planning and then we'll get back to work. All right, guys, so um, I've been working on this for, uh, for about 40 minutes now, and I'm, kind of, I'm going to kind of show you guys exactly what I'm going to plan to do, and I'm going to actually just use the shape of our current build to kind of update you guys on what I plan on doing. So took me about 20 minutes, nothing too long. I just made a quick, quick, perfect square. I just covered it with quartz because if I didn't cover this with quartz, Snix is going to get angry at me. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to raise the spawners up about five, five to six blocks, so it's going to be a little bit higher there. So I'm going to probably have to take these down right here uh very very simple um i'm gonna make the lava blade of the actual farm itself right here so this level right here is gonna be a lava blade and then perfectly i'm, I'm gonna make this this one quartz layer i'm gonna turn this all into hoppers and then the chests that are gonna actually collect the iron um the chests that are gonna actually collect the iron ingots themselves is gonna act right over here so still got a little bit of off camera work to do i obviously am flying around to kind of just show you guys a little bit uh a little bit easier on what exactly i'm planning on doing but i'm going to do a little bit more off camera work because i do have a lot of stuff to take down the hopper placement is probably what's going to take me the longest because it's obviously going to be the most um crucial part of this build making sure all the hoppers are perfectly lined up but it shouldn't it honestly shouldn't take us too long probably about another 
maybe about another 20 or 30 minutes depending on how if i can get snicks online right now i think she's at school actually though if i can get snicks to help me out with this it shouldn't take us too long very very simple build for us to actually do and it just it's just it's just very very time consuming but obviously iron golem farms are always going to be the best farm available i think money wise so it's just going to be a little bit of time and effort but once we get this done we are going to be making quick 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 cash moolah so let's go ahead oh my god my pickaxe just broke um slash home base so i'm going to go ahead and continue to do a little bit of off-camera work do i have another silk touch pickaxe i need a silk touch pick there we go okay silk touch i'm gonna do a couple more uh minutes of uh, off-camera work just to kind of get this all laid out i'll explain uh to you guys the kind of the basic layout of an iron golem farm and then we'll explain and cut back in when i got have it all laid out for you lovely people so we've got the chest area basically completed at this point. It's going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 times 6 is 42. 42 double chests that are going to be able to hold poppies as well as iron ingots. So what's going to happen here, as you guys can see here, and I made a little bit of a room just back here. I have all of these hoppers just basically relayed into the actual chests themselves. And I have this last layer connected into this one so that anything that gets connected into this hopper, Hopper layer on this row are just gonna it's gonna head into this layer itself so now what I'm trying to decide here I've got a bunch of hoppers I don't know if I want to just go ahead and make the actual level right here where the lava blade is gonna be or if I should just raise it up one and destroy an, an entire layer of flooring right here but the, my problem is if I break a hole right here my base is literally right there so I think I'm just gonna make one hopper just go straight down like this and then this is gonna be the very very bottom layer of the actual iron golem farm itself so this should be actually pretty simple i'm just going to go ahead and relay all of these actual uh, hoppers into one another like this going all the way straight back row by row row by row so then if this is the actual layer right here do i have any stone bricks on i do right here um and then i'm going to have the signs probably going across this entire area like this so the signs are gonna go like this I'm just I'm, I'm kind of just showing you guys what the entire farm is gonna look like in one small section like a little micro section and then once I'm actually done with it I'll show you guys the finished product so this is gonna be the, this is gonna act as the lava blade and then the lava is obviously gonna sit on this third layer up here now iron golems are obviously three blocks high so uh, once they spawn from the spawners up there they'll drop down here sit on this hopper and then their head will still be in the lava layer meaning that they will die and then obviously the iron ingots will drop into the hopper and then get collected slowly into this section over here so honestly guys this is a very very simple farm any of what any one of you guys can literally make this and it's it's not very it's not very hard to make the only the only thing about it is it's very 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 time consuming so um let's see let me go ahead and finish the rest of this hopper placement and whatnot i've got a whole bunch of hoppers made over here and i should be done fairly soon and uh let's get this going here we go guys Stage complete. I believe this farm is basically almost done at this point. Now, as you guys can see here, this is part of my OCD. I love making all of this uh, freaking lava just perfect so that none of it is actually flowing by itself. So I actually take the time to um, set all this to lava just so, I don't know why, just visual wise, it just looks so much better when there's no flowing lava. But, you know, that's all up to you guys. I like I like making my base look very aesthetically pleasing, so that's why I do that. I'm going to grab a couple of god apples here so that I do have fire resistance I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did so I have this chest set up here as I told you guys with all the hoppers facing into the chest like so and then right underneath here I right underneath the lava layer is um, a bunch of signs that basically holds the lava in place and then right underneath so this is a two high block right here so there's one block two blocks and then the second block is where the sign is and then the lava is right above the signs on the third block now all of these hoppers right here that you guys see on the ground are all facing towards Towards the chest so all of these if I dig down one all of these actual hoppers themselves are facing into each other going this way so all heading towards the chest so what's gonna happen is once I place these iron golem spawners in here they're gonna spawn so imagine I'm an iron golem they're gonna spawn fall straight down and land on this level now as for me I'm a player entity that's only too high so technically I'm not gonna be burning but as a, a iron golem you are gonna be standing three high as I've said and your head is gonna still be in 
in the lava and you're eventually just going to fall into the you're going to fall basic you're going to burn to death and then you're going to drop your iron ingots into any one of these hoppers and then it's going to all just flow perfectly into these chests over here so we're going to go ahead and grab my iron golems from my e chest right over i believe this is it right here isn't it yes it is right here let's go ahead and place the first five iron golems into our actual spawner room here so we can kind of show you guys exactly how the spawn works perfect all five are perfectly now placed i've got my little afk pool here now the one thing i might have to change is this afk pool because i'm not sure exactly if they'll all be spawning looks like they're all spawning at this point so as you guys can see right there the iron golems are burning so if i just take a quick peek down here they're standing on the hoppers but still they are burning because obviously their head is in the lava as i've been explaining let's wait a couple of seconds for these bad boys to die and you just barely saw an iron ingot falling into there and then if you guys can see here look at all my signs that i misplaced if you guys can see here all the iron ingots are slowly starting to collect so this farm is 100 percent complete uh, total build time um well uh, kind of converting the room was probably about an hour and a half it didn't take us too long honestly but once you guys get all the required materials literally all i have to do now is afk here overnight and we are going to be making moolah for days i can't wait i'm just literally if you guys see me on the server and i'm not responding i'm probably it's probably because i'm just literally afking at my iron golem farm i'm gonna slowly start to collect and hopefully i can fill up this entire room before the end of next week hopefully we'll just kind of add spawners on as we go and my faction members will probably help clear the chest sell and do all of this good stuff but anyways guys this is the end of today's episode a very very quick iron golem build as um you know i just, just didn't feel like raiding today and obviously i miss insanity as he is at school right now but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's iron golem tutorial in today's factions video if you guys did enjoy and if you guys learned something new feel free to hit that like button i would truly truly appreciate it thank you guys so so much for watching this is d field we're about to make millions we'll see you guys later